Here's a 2016 GMC Sierra 1500 Crew Cab SLE in crimson red, one owner with a clean Carfax history. Really a beautiful truck here. Um, I really like the color. You got some chrome accents there on the lower bumper valiance as well as the grill. Uh, high intensity headlamps, LED fogs down below. See the black tow hooks in the very lower air dam. Um, come around to the side. You can see that it actually has 17 inch uh, wheels here. Uh, scuff free alloy, nice uh, deep bridge stones, three quarter tread, probably about you know, 9, 30 seconds or so there out of a possible 12. And you can see a nice shiny resurface rotor and nice thick brake pad. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here, Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that inspection signed off by the mechanic that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. We just want to make sure that the next owner knows as much about the mechanical integrity as we do. Now, right now we're looking in through the passenger front. As you can see, it has a light gray cloth uh, interior with a manual adjustment on the passenger seat, dark charcoal carpeting. It's a 40-60-40 uh, on your fold-down center console there. And uh, as you can see, very, very clean. Um, you also have the nice uh, GM 5-inch chrome door-to-door uh, -door, uh, side steps there, or running boards. Let's look here in the back, as you can see in the crew cab model, you have very nice uh, leg, hip, and shoulder room here for your rear occupants. You can also see how nice and clean and spacious uh, that interior is. Uh, a lot of leg, hip, and shoulder room there for you. Um, continue around here so you can see this is their standard box here on the back. Also, uh, that you'd have matching uh, Bridgestone Dueler tires here, another scuff-free rear 17-inch alloy wheel there, and the same three-quarters tread. Uh, also, if I can get a shot there in the frame, you can see you do have wheel well liners on the back. I know that's a little bit of a weird statement, but a lot of trucks are coming without those. And you can see a nice, uh, clean factory paint, no rust or any kind of oxidation on the frame or suspension there. Also, you have your factory uh, mud guards there uh, that came with your protection package, uh, chrome step bumper, uh, class three tow hitch, integrated uh, seven way round four-way flat uh, trailer connector, full-size spare, as you can see there as well. Also, this vehicle comes with your backup camera. Um, also, is, as you can see, easy drop tailgate, which is a nice feature for GM. Also has the factory spray-in GMC uh, bed liner, as you can see there as well, um, all done from factory. We'll continue around to the driver's side now, as you can see. Um, and also, again, focusing it on the wheel, just to show you that this wheel also is scuff-free, same three-quarter tread, Bridgestone matching tires on it as well. Give you a little shot of the frame rear heel also, as you can see, no oxidation at all on the truck. Um, give you a shot from the rear here of the driver's side. Like I say, no rips, tears, stains, or odors on this vehicle, very well maintained by the previous owner. And then we'll give you a look here to driver's side. Now, one big di difference is you do have a full power seat here on the driver's side, which is nice. And I also want to give you a little idea of what it's like to be behind a wheel, kind of give you a tour of the options and placement. We'll start here where your windows, locks, and mirrors are all located on the switch pod there on the left. Just want to show you the key here as well. Uh, we do have two keys. You can see you have a remote start there uh, with a separate fob and key, laser cut. And let's go ahead and turn this on, show you how many miles are on this vehicle. It's very much like new, low mileage. As you can see, 13,300 miles, so very good miles. Let's go ahead and come around the, op or the uh, uh, switches. You got your automatic headlamps with fog lights right there. Interior uh, dimmer switches there. Your electronic shift on a fly four wheel drive transfer case is just a turn away there. And then you have your integrated factory uh, trailer brake controller uh, above that. Now we have a left stem here for your intermittent wiper washers. Uh, you have a con uh, console uh, a shifter here with the ability to select any of the available gears. On the side, you also have a tow haul button there on the end. Uh, we got your cruise control to the left side of the steering wheel. We got your voice activation on the right, as well as your uh, menu controls for your in-vehicle uh, display. That's going to be displayed here, as you can see. I'm going down through. There you have a uh, you know tire pressure monitoring, oil life, which we need to reset because we did just service uh, their distance till empty on your fuel range. Your different tripometers. There's your digital dash for or speedometer versus analog. Um, so a lot of different uh, features and stuff in drivable set. 
settings that you can control with that pad right there. Now, we'll come over. This is actually the large radio here, uh, touch screen. You have AM, FM, and satellite on that option. Of course, you have the ability with the touch to pair your phone. Now, this vehicle is not uh, included with factory navigation. If it did have it, it would be on that screen. And then you have, uh, you know, different uh, items there on your option setting as well. Now, your, uh, your audio controls are down below that. Your uh, climate controls are below that. And as you see, you do have a, a separate driver and uh, passenger uh, climate control setting there. Got your traction control and your cab lights below that. Now you have uh, three large cup holders here in this fold down center console. I'm going to flip it up so you can see where your connectivity is. You have your 12 volt power supply USB and audio pre out right in there. Uh, you also have another 12 volt power supply down here as well. Um, now we have up top uh, some LED map lights. Now there is no uh, sunroof on this particular truck, but we do have LED and you have your universal home link. Of course, all uh, GMs come with the ability for OnStar, which is right there. Now, this has the standard 5.3 liter V8 engine. I'll go ahead and uh, pop the hood here. Just to give the motorheads a look underneath. I mean, obviously, this is a 16 with only 12,000, 13,000, excuse me, miles. So it should look like a new one under here. And there you have it. The very tried and true 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 used in a lot of GM vehicles, very reliable, very trusted. You've seen uh, very quiet, no exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks. Give you a shot of this bank, you can see very clean. Not even have any corrosion on the terminals there. Very much what you would expect to see of a vehicle of this age and mileage, but just want to kind of give you guys a shot. Very, very clean underneath the hood like new. Now I'm going to shut the truck off and we'll get into the next portion of the video. This portion, I really think, is what differentiates us from a lot of other car dealers. Not only are we completely 100% transparent with our best price up front, we also are very transparent in the condition of our vehicles. So I'm just going to kind of do a quick walk around, point any, out any minor imperfection. It is a used vehicle. Some can be expected, but really we try to buy as super clean vehicles as we possibly can. Like I say, this shows no signs of any prior paint. Uh, has a clean history. All the body lines are nice, straight, and clean. I just want to kind of go around. If I see any chips, dents, scratches, anything of that nature, I'll try to point them out to the best of my ability. Um, we got a very tiny dent right here. I, it's so small, I can't even really capture it in the light, but I can tell you very, very tiny dent. No paint damage at all. Simple PDR. We'll take that out. Um, Rear door is straight, no issues. Bedside, we'll take a peek out here. Bedside looks very, very clean as well. On the back, we got a couple little scratches here on the tail lamp and right above on the corner there. Try to pick those out. A couple little scratches here above the emblem, Thomas emblem there. The bumper is clean, no dents or dings on the chrome portion of the bumper. The tailgate's where you'll typically catch a little damage on a truck, but this face of the tailgate looks very, very good. Now we do have a little scraping and scuffing on this top uh, tailgate protector, as you can see as I pan across, but that's what it's there for. It's to protect the edge of the tailgate, and it's done a good job of that. Um, continuing down the uh, passenger side here now. Have a little stone chip right there. As you can see. But then scratch wise on this bed is very good for a truck. Usually people have a little nick or ding from throwing something over the rail. Little tiny scratch up there above that window. You see a couple little stone chips there. Now we will touch this up with factory matching paint, but right now I uh, just wanna show you anything that I see here. It's a couple little chips on the back side of this cover, as you can see. It's really hard to avoid the stone chips, but um, really clean otherwise. No dents, heavy scratches, anything of that nature. Just a handful of chips here, and this front fender looks just as good. Now, we do have a little bit of spattering of ch stone chips across this front. There again, with the aerodynamics of these vehicles, you're going to pick up some of that really kind of unavoidable. As I quickly pan there, there are a couple... There are a couple stone chips here, nicks as well, across the front face of the hood. Try to give you a little pan there as well, so you can see a couple little cluster here. Um, 
But really, other than a handful of stone chips, guys, this is an excellent new car alternative. Still covered with the remainder of GM's uh, factory powertrain and comprehensive warranty transferable to the next owner so you can buy this vehicle with confidence. Now, if you're interested, a couple different ways of getting a hold of us. Give us a call at area code 717-485-4224. Look us up on the web at uh, www.thomasata.com. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. Appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.